Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello, welcome back everyone. This is case number 7 in GIT contrast studies. Today our patient is a 30 year old young patient presented with dysphagia for one month duration. So this is the anteroposterior spot radiograph of barium solo series. So you can see a dilatation of the esophagus here with the contrast level, contrast air level. Yeah, it is dilated and there is smooth concentric regular narrowing of distal third of the esophagus here you can see distal third of the esophagus there is concentric narrowing and the walls are smooth and uh, partial load up of contrast seen here and however passage of con contrast you can see into the distal part here and also through the narrowed lumen so there's partial obstruction and there's a stricture so it's a benign stricture because it has a smooth outline benign stricture is there then you have to see the complications like uh, contrast leakage to suggest perforation and the fistula tracks so those are not there and no pacification of lungs to suggest regurgitations visualize bones also normal so so it's a benign stricture so in this case the diagnosis is corrosive esophagitis corrosive esophagitis or caustic esophagitis caustic so this patient had uh, previous history of uh, corrosive ingestion actually three months back he had corrosive ingestion so that's why we call it corrosive esophagitis so differential diagnosis uh, can get uh, neoplastic lesions malignancies in that case uh, there will be regular outline and ulcerations and uh, also you have to think of uh, other causes of esophagitis like uh, fungal esophagitis so those are few differential diagnoses for corrosive esophagitis or caustic esophagitis so this is a late complication of uh, caustic esophagitis earlier there will be perforations of the esophagus so there will be leakage of contrast into the mediastinum causing new more mediastinums or chemical mediastinitis and uh, so you have to see the acute features and also chronic features and also complications when you are given a upper GI contrast study with the patient with history of uh, corrosive ingestion so that concludes case number seven in GIT series please subscribe our youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this